What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to create a piping system. So I'm going to show you how to create the return and supply piping system. And then we are going to use our system browser to review and confirm the systems. Again, your system browser can be accessed by pressing F9, function key 9, F9. Or just right click on the blank space and then look for browsers and then you can see the system browser okay so last video we have placed our mechanical equipments the boiler and then two water source heat pump so now we are going to create a logical connection between the system components okay so let's do this so if I'm going to select one of the water source heat pump, so I click that one, as you can see, it is on the unassigned uh, system here, okay? Because we haven't assigned this uh, equipment to a system, so that's why it will be placed by default on the unassigned folder. So same with this one, so it's there, and same with our boiler here. So if you are going to click one of the water source heat pump and then check the system as you can see this water source heat pump has a connector for mechanical piping and electrical so further expanding this folder you can see that it has a connector for return air and supply air and for the piping it has a connector for hydronic return piping system, hydronic supply piping system, and sanitary connector. And it also has electrical connector. So if I expand that, you see it has a power connector. Okay, so that's why you see if I click here, there's a connector. This is the connectors that I'm talking about. Okay, so those are the system on that particular family. So these are the connectors. Okay, so same with your boiler. So if I click the boiler, so as you can see, it has uh, several connectors as well. Okay, so it has a connector for exhaust, uh, mechanical, piping for hydronic return and supply, and then other type of system piping and then sanitary okay so those are the system on our uh, mechanical equipment okay so just make sure the selected filter here is system so that you'll be able to see the system okay so instead of uh, zones analytical system electrical analytical system so just select systems so for you to be able to see the uh, logical system all right so now let's create our hydronic return okay so we're going to create a hydronic return piping system and then later we're going to create also a supply hydronic supply piping system so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to select these two water source heat pump so click one and then hold control to select both so as you can see right now it's on the unassigned so we are going to create a system so from the modify mechanical equipment so there's a create systems here okay so i have only here one contextual tab i only have one green tab so later on as we create another system so there's an additional tab that will be added here but right now we only have one contextual tab here Okay, and then these are the systems that I can create for that particular mechanical equipment. Okay, but for this one, I'm going to create a piping system. So let's click piping to create the piping system. And then you see I have the system type here. So if I click the drop down arrow, so I can create hydronic supply, hydronic return, sanitary piping, and other piping system. Okay, so for this one, we are going to select hydronic return. So I want hydronic return. And then we need to specify the naming here. Okay, so for the name, I'll just call it uh, CHWR, so chilled water return. 
Okay, so chilled water return. And then I'll select here OK. So once I select OK, so look what will happen on the system browser. So there, there is an element that will be added here on our piping. So select OK. There you go. So I now have additional system there. Okay. So after that, we're going to add the equipment for this system. Okay. So to do that, let me just click outside. And then I'm just going to click one of the chilled or one of the mechanical equipment, the water source heat pump. And then this is what I'm talking about. So a while ago, we only have one contextual tab. So this time we now have another uh, tab here, which is piping system. Okay, so I can click this tab. And then after that, I'm going to add my boiler as my equipment. Okay, so select equipment. And then I'm going to select this boiler here. So I'm going to select that one. There you go. So it's now added to the system. So I'll just select here, modify. So if I click this, so it's now here. So let's expand that. So it's now on the hydronic return, that one. Okay, so this is our boiler. This is the name of the system. And then this is the two water source heat pump that is part of the system okay so that's the name so if i click this one as you can see the total flow there is 24 uh, gpm okay so if i click one of the water source heat pump so the flow there is 12 so 12 by 12 so that is 24 so that's why if i click this system here so there's the flow all right okay now the next thing that i'm gonna do here is i'm going to create a hydronic supply piping system okay so let's select our, our water source heat pump again so let's click one and then i'm going to create another system here so piping okay so the default now here is hydronic supply so no more hydronic return because we already created that system. So now it's hydronic supply. So let's change the name. Let's call it CHWS, Chilled Water Supply. And then after that, I'll select here, OK. There you go. So I now have one hydronic supply here, CHWS. So now what I want to do is to add this uh, water source heat pump. And then the uh, another equipment okay so I'm going to select this and then after that I'm going to go to piping systems again and then make sure that on the system selector here the selected is your supply CHWS so select that one and then we're going to edit the system so edit the system and then add to system it's already selected by default so I'm going to select this one here okay so now what I want to do I'm not going to finish it yet so I'm going to change the level here so let's go to the project browser and then let me open the roof HVAC uh, plan design so I want to include this chiller here this cooling tower so I'm going to add that to the system as well so let's click that so I'm going to select the cooling tower to add to the system and then since this cooling tower has five connectors on the family so you see every time I click so it highlights the connector okay it has five connect uh, connectors we are just looking on the top view but if you go to the 3d view you will be able to see the other placement of the uh, connector so for this one the connector that uh, what I want to select or use here is this one connector one undefined round four inches cooling water supply in flow direction in so that's the connector that I want to select okay so I'm going to select here okay there you go so it's now added to the system and then after that I'm going to 
uh, close that HVAC plan, roof HVAC plan design. So let's close that. So again, I'm not yet selecting finish editing system. So I'm still editing it. So after I select that cooling tower, the next thing is we are going to select the equipment. Okay. So the equipment again is the boiler. So I'm going to select, select equipment, and then I'm going to select the boiler here. So you select the boiler as equipment for supply to the water source heat pumps. So the boiler is the only equipment that has connectors with compatible systems like hydronic supply and hydronic return. So basically in heating mode, the boiler supplies heated water to the system and bypasses the cooling tower. So in cooling mode, the cooling tower provides cold water to the system and then the water returns through the boiler into the cooling tower by way of the water source heat pumps. Okay, so after we select the mechanical equipment, so let's uh, finish the editing system. There you go. So it's now added here as well. So we have hydronic return, which is this one here, and then there's another one here. Uh, hydronic supply, this one. There you go. Okay. So we have the CWS, uh, CHWS system, and then CHWR system. Okay. Right. So the next thing that I'm going to do here is we are going to uh, modify the flow. Okay. So we are going to modify the flow of our. Uh, chilled water supply so if i click the chilled water supply and then system and then go to properties so the flow the total flow here is um 24 okay so it's 24 so if i'm going to select one of the water source heat pump so let's click one and then let's say i'm going to change the water flow here to uh, say 18 and then apply so it will be updated by the way you can also see it here so you'll be able to see there right so it's it's now 30 uh, GPM okay so if I select the CHWS you see it's also updated here on our properties Alright, okay, so basically that's how you create your uh, system. So it's not that difficult, okay? So on our next video, what we are going to learn is we are going to add pipe using auto layout, okay? And then after that, I'm also going to teach you how to create it manually, how to create the piping manually. Alright, so hopefully you learned something from this video in creating your piping system. Again, if you want to use the exercise file that I'm using right now, you can check out the video description. So I have included a link there to avail the files if you want to support me in doing videos. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.